Good morning. This is Douglas Johnson, Product Manager at Scilog Incorporated. Uh, today I will demonstrate how to set up and use the LabTech methadone system. Let me take a, a moment to point out the major components of the system. First we have a PC. This PC uh, is loaded with uh, your specific patient software program. Uh, this is uh, um, your program that has the commands in it that uh, tells our system, our methadone pump, how many milligrams that that patient should be receiving. Uh, once you output that command, then goes by way of a USB cable to our LabTech methadone pump. It then uh, converts it into telling the pump exactly how much to dispense based upon your input. Then the tubing is in our methadone bottle. It has a sinker in the end of it. The sinker keeps the tubing at the bottom of the methadone bottle. Hooking up the system is very easy. First of all, you turn the LabTech methadone pump around. Uh, we have a power cable that we plug in at this location. And then you have one end of the USB cable that plugs in directly at this position. And then the other end of the USB cable plugs into uh, a location on your PC. Uh, and then once you have those hooked up, you can then turn on the power switch of the LabTech methadone pump. That then will go through a pattern of checks and balances, and you will then come to uh, the major screen serial port. Now that the uh, cables are connected, let's move on to connecting the tubing to our piston head. This has a compression fitting on it. Uh, this uh, is uh, goes inside of the piston head. This screws on. Um, this is the intake side. This uh, tubing uh, has a sinker on the end of it. Uh, this then goes into the bottle of methadone. Uh, the sinker keeps the tubing at the bottom of the bottle. Uh, this is uh, the tubing that uh, is on the intake side of the piston head. Um, on this side is the output, and the methadone comes out of here, goes through the tubing. Uh, it is, the dispensing tip is held by our standing clamp, and it is a hands-free dispensing. The pump is now ready to receive a command from your PC patient program. The LabTech is compatible with all patient software programs. The LabTech accepts these 11 different commands, and these are universal codes for all patient software programs. And you can go to page 28 of your manual. We have now primed the system by way of the Prime button in your patient software. We are now ready to dispense a given patient amount. Once the system is set up, it is very easy to then type into you, your patient software the number of milligrams that the patient should be receiving and hit enter. I'm now going to type in 100 milligrams uh, and then that will then dispense. The lab tech has shown you what your last dispense was, 10 milliliters, uh, which is 100 milligrams. I now will change that and type in another dispensing amount, and you can see how that will change on your screen. The screen now shows that we did 200 milligrams or 20 milliliters. I now want to show you how it looks with a close-up at the dispensing tip when doing 100 milligrams or 10 milliliters.
I can prove that this is dispensing is very accurate uh, by measuring by weight. We dispensed 100 milligrams or 10 milliliters and it now shows that we did dispense uh, 10 grams which is the same as 10 milliliters. At the end of the day you can recover the methadone that's left in your tubing uh, by hitting the flush command in your software program. You can see how it sucks it back into the methadone bottle. For maintenance of your uh, methadone pump and the piston head, we recommend that at the end of every day uh, you flush the system uh, for a long period of time using either uh, hot distilled water or one of our major recommendations is using 50 percent uh, isopropyl alcohol and 50 percent distilled water and flushing it through the tubing. You replace the methadone bottle by using your flushing liquid and then we flush that through for a period of time